Betelgeuse or Betelgeuse. It's a red giant star. If you put it where the sun is, it would extend out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous. It's the James Webb Space Telescope, GWS, has turned its powerful gaze toward Betelgeuse, one of the most iconic and enigmatic stars in the night sky. And what it uncovered has astronomers around the world rethinking long-standing theories about the life cycle of massive stars. Betelgeuse, a red supergiant located approximately 642 light-years from Earth in the Orion constellation, has long been known for its immense size and dramatic variability. However, the recent JWS observations have revealed a deeply unsettling new chapter in the story of this colossal star. One that could mean a supernova is not just coming sooner than expected, but that it's already entering a far more unstable and advanced stage than previously thought. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. Using its mid-infrared instrument MIRI and near-infrared spectrograph NERSPEC, the James Webb Telescope managed to capture images and spectral data with unprecedented clarity and depth. What it found was that Betelgeuse's outer layers are undergoing massive, rapid changes, and these changes are inconsistent with typical red supergiant behavior. The star, once believed to be relatively stable despite its occasional dimming episodes, is now exhibiting surface activity that borders on chaotic. Immense plumes of gas and dust are being ejected from its surface at irregular intervals, far more violently than expected for a star at this phase of its evolution. The velocity and temperature gradients detected within these ejections are extreme, pointing to a possible collapse of internal equilibrium. These dramatic findings stem from the remarkable precision of JWST's instruments. Unlike earlier telescopes, which could only approximate surface movements or identify broad temperature changes, JWST has managed to map fine structures in the star's outer envelope. These structures show regions of turbulent, superheated plasma interspersed with rapidly cooling dust clouds, essentially signs of the star beginning to self-destruct from the outside in. This is particularly concerning because it suggests that Betelgeuse is not merely fluctuating in brightness due to surface convection or minor pulsations, as once assumed, but may be entering a late pre-supernova phase previously undocumented in such detail. What makes this discovery even more compelling is the detection of highly asymmetrical material outflows. The symmetry of a star's ejections can provide clues to its internal dynamics. In the case of Betelgeuse, the observed asymmetries suggest that its core may already be undergoing complex changes that precede collapse. Normally, a red supergiant nearing the end of its life will experience symmetrical, if massive, shedding of its outer layers. The violent and lopsided nature of the ejections seen by JWT implies that internal forces are being skewed by some external or internal imbalance, possibly a rapid drop in core pressure or the onset of core fusion instability. Another key finding is the intense infrared glow coming from the star's vicinity. JWS captured detailed images showing a halo of warm dust that extends far beyond Betelgeuse's surface. This glowing material is not only a sign of recent mass loss, but also an indication that this mass loss is accelerating. Such infrared signatures, particularly in the mid-infrared wavelengths, are usually associated with late-stage stellar deaths. In fact, similar patterns have been observed in stars only months or years before they went supernova. This sudden outpouring of mass into the surrounding space adds weight to the hypothesis that Betelgeuse is teetering on the brink of explosion. The data also suggests a breakdown in Betelgeuse's magnetic field structures. Magnetohydrodynamic simulations using JWST's readings have shown inconsistencies in the star's magnetospheric alignment which might be a contributing factor to the chaotic ejection patterns. If the magnetic field can no longer regulate plasma flows effectively, it may be a sign that internal convective currents, critical to the star's energy balance, are beginning to fail. This condition would only accelerate the timeline toward collapse, possibly reducing what astronomers thought was a window of tens of thousands of years to something much shorter, perhaps centuries, decades, or even less. The temperature variations across Betelgeuse's surface were also mapped with astonishing resolution, revealing hot spots and cold patches that shift in ways inconsistent with previous models of convection. These thermal anomalies are not just superficial. They penetrate into deeper atmospheric layers, suggesting that internal heat transfer mechanisms are becoming unstable. 
If Betelgeuse's convective envelope is failing to move energy effectively from the core to the surface, pressure imbalances could drive further turbulence, hastening the star's destabilization. Such evidence hints at the kind of final, erratic pulsations seen in stars that are just moments away from supernova. Even more surprising was the detection of unusual spectral signatures within Betelgeuse's core-facing emissions. JWST identified spikes of elements such as nickel and cobalt, both of which are normally only present in significant quantities post-supernova. Their appearance in pre-supernova emissions is deeply concerning because it could indicate premature nuclear fusion of heavier elements, perhaps due to core contraction or strange matter processes. If these elements are truly being synthesized already, Betelgeuse may be far closer to a terminal event than anyone previously imagined. Furthermore, JWST's long wavelength capabilities picked up faint but persistent shock waves moving through the star's outer layers. These are not ordinary pulsation waves caused by convective motion but rather shock fronts. High energy ripples potentially originating from deep within the core. Such shocks are typically signs of drastic changes in internal pressure, which can precede the violent collapse of a star's iron core. The propagation of these waves through Betelgeuse's vast body may mean the star is preparing to release an unimaginable amount of energy, a precursor to a cataclysmic supernova detonation. Equally concerning is how Betelgeuse's surrounding environment is responding. JWS observed disturbances in the interstellar medium immediately around the star, gas and dust clouds that have begun to shift, compress, and heat up in response to Betelgeuse's energetic output. This indirect evidence reinforces the notion that the star is not merely changing, but doing so with such intensity that it's affecting its cosmic neighborhood. These environmental changes could serve as an early warning system, a cosmic ripple of sorts, alerting observers that something truly massive is on the horizon. Compounding all of this is the sheer scale of the star. Betelgeuse is so large that if placed at the center of our solar system, its outer layers would extend past the orbit of Jupiter. A star of this size exploding would produce a supernova of exceptional magnitude, possibly a type 2p known for their plateau in brightness, but potentially capable of reaching magnitude levels visible even during daytime on Earth. The implications of such an event are staggering, not only in terms of scientific observation, but also for understanding the very limits of stellar death. While JWSE has not confirmed an imminent explosion, the accumulation of anomalies presents an increasingly consistent picture of a star entering its death throes. Astronomers now face the daunting task of updating stellar life cycle models to accommodate the kind of erratic and violent behavior JWS has documented. This discovery could mark a turning point in our understanding of how massive stars die, suggesting that some do not follow the slow, predictable path previously outlined in textbooks but may instead leap toward death in sudden convulsive steps. The broader implication is that other red supergiants could be on similarly unpredictable paths. If Betelgeuse, one of the most well-studied stars in the galaxy, can behave this unexpectedly, it raises urgent questions about what we truly know regarding late-stage stellar evolution. It also underscores the necessity of continuous monitoring. JWS has opened a window into phenomena that were previously invisible, and through it, we're beginning to grasp how dynamic and volatile the cosmos truly is at the threshold of a stellar explosion. Beyond astrophysics, this development could reshape our strategies for observing and interpreting cosmic events. Instruments around the world and in orbit may need to recalibrate their priorities to focus more intently on Betelgeuse and stars like it. Because if this star does explode in the near future, it will not only be a rare and spectacular sight, but also a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to observe a supernova from its very first moments, something humanity has never recorded in modern detail. Moreover, such an event would provide real-time validation of stellar models under the most extreme conditions. It would allow scientists to test predictions about nucleosynthesis, shockwave propagation, neutrino release, and the formation of neutron stars or black holes. JWST's findings are, in essence, setting the stage for one of the most scientifically important cosmic events of this century. And if the timeline is shorter than we thought, preparations must begin now. The possibility that Betelgeuse is entering its final stage also has a more philosophical dimension. This is a star that has been part of human skywatching for millennia. 
Seen by ancient civilizations, immortalized in myth, and studied by generations of astronomers, the idea that it could soon vanish from the sky, replaced by the remnants of a supernova, is a poignant reminder of the universe's impermanence. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on Beetlejuice? Will it go supernova soon? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.